Hello guys, welcome back to another Android AdMob tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to place an interstitial ID unit in your Android application. First thing you have to integrate the Google Mobile Apps SDK. For this project, here I already integrate Google Mobile Apps SDK. From the main activity on create method, I initialize the Google Mobile Apps SDK. Now you need to create an interstitial ID unit in your AdMob dashboard. Then you have to copy the interstitial ID unit ID and you have to place it in your Android application. For testing and debug purpose, you have to use a test ID unit ID. So in this project, I am going to use a test ID unit ID for the interstitial ad. Go to the official documentation from AdMob. Select test ads. Copy the sample ID unit ID of interstitial ad unit. Copy this one. I am going to place it within strings.xml. Open editor. Add a new string resource. Paste the value here. So here we place an interstitial ID unit ID within strings.xml. I run the project. In this application we have two activity. We have main activity and another activity. Inside main activity we have a button. So if the user click the button we open another activity. Now we are going to place an interstitial ID unit between main activity and another activity. So if the user click the button, first we display an interstitial ID unit. If the user close the interstitial ID unit, we go to the another activity. So now go to main activity, create some variables for interstitial ID unit. Initialize that variables from the onCreate method. Now attach the interstitial ID unit ID to this variable. Set ID unit ID. Get string. Now for load the ID unit, we, we need some add a request variable, create variables for add a request, new add a request builder and call the build method on it. Now add the add a request to the interstitial add, for that call the method load add and pass the add a request. Now the interstitial ID unit is ready, now we can display it. So when user click the button, uh, we check some condition if interstitial ID is loaded. In that case, we display the interstitial ID. Otherwise, we simply go to the another activity. So once the user close the ad, we have to go to another activity. For that, you have to implement some add listeners. Uh, set add listener. Uh, there are many add listener methods are available. Here, you have to overwrite one method called the odd on add close. Once the add closed, we have to go to another activity. So I copy this method, copy this statement, place it here. <coughs> so here the context, this is not valid. So main activity don't this. Okay, fine. Now we can check the project. So I run the project. So I open another activity. So here there is an ad appear interstitial and appear. I close the ad. Once I close the ad, we go to another activity. 
Now I come back to main activity again. This time I click the button, but here there is no ad available. Because here we load the ad from the on create method. We load the ad only once during the life cycle of main activity. If you want to load more than one interstitial ad within an activity life cycle, you have to load it from one of the ad listener. So once the ad is closed, we have to load another interstitial ad unit. Load ad new ad request builder dot build. So here, once the user closed the ad, we load another interstitial ad unit. Now we can test it again. Go to another activity and add up here. Come back to main activity. Now click again here and run. Check it again. Yes. So here we display more than one interstitial ad unit during life cycle of main activity. But display too many ads, too many interstitial ad unit in your app will reduce the overall user experience of your application. So you have to limit the number of interstitial ad unit in an activity. You can do it from the app mob dashboard itself. You can control how many interstitial ad unit appear per minute. Also you can do it from the app itself. So now here I will show you how to control the number of interstitial ad unit within an activity. For that here I create some variables, private int add count, initialize that variables with some value 1. So from the button click here I check some condition, if add count percentage of 2 equal to 0. In that case only, I display the interstitial ID unit. Otherwise, we simply start another activity. Okay. Now here, I need to increment the variable ad count by 1. So here we limit the number of interstitial ad unit appear in this activity. So the ad appear every even button click. So we can check it out. I run the project. So for the first button click there is no ads. For the second button click there is, there is an ad. Now for the third button click there is no ad. But fourth button click, there is an ad. So this is how we control the interstitial ad in an activity by using a symbol flag. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android AdMob tutorial, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching.